All right. We're going to show you how to set up a report to get your awards filled out automatically by the uh, SEMN USB-C server. A lot of people have been having trouble with this, so we're going to start from scratch and just go through it once with you. Your starting point should be that your leagues or league is set up, your scores are entered, and you've downloaded the latest version of the CDE software. This fix level right here and this date is real key because it does contain a fix that's going to allow us to bring in uh, our local awards from an external file, so you won't have to set those up manually. I'd advise you also to uh, go ahead, print the instructions out, follow along this time. Don't even try to set up your machine. Just follow this, look at the instructions, get a feel for what's going on, and then later go back and uh, either view it again or set up your machine. Like I said, we're starting out on the first page to emphasize this release level. This is real key here. The second step in the instruction says click on item J12. Well, right now we've only got A, B, and C. So in order to actually see those others, I've got to open up a league. So I'm going to click on any league. This is the demo version, so I'm using uh, CDEs. Adidas Lovers. The whole point of this is that the menu's opened up, and now you have a J here. Go ahead and click on J and come on down here to 11. We're going to set up a report and a custom report. Actually, like I said, what we're going to do is take an existing report, modify it, and save it under a different name. So go ahead and click on that. Opens up this window. Now, you notice the left-hand side's divided into uh, two sets of reports. The, the bottom part, the user-defined list, is what we're concerned about because I don't believe you can change those in the top half. We're going to grab the other awards report. As soon as I click on that, you'll notice all the information on the right changes. The titles, other awards, got a bunch of toggle switches. A lot of those are wrong. Now we're going to go in here and in step four, if you're following along in the instructions, we're going to modify this. So I'm going to change the title of this report to uh, SEMNUSBC. What else? W-E-E-K-L-Y. The reason I, I put it in in caps, you'll see later, it's, it sticks out on the report list so you can grab it easier the next time. Second item down, type of the report, it's an award list. It's an official report. This tells me what style I happen to be using. You really don't need to worry too much about that. The, the next two, the first time I went through, confused me a bit because you're going to select alphabetical. But as soon as you select this week only, that toggles back to sort by bowler. So that's fine. Now down here on the, uh, the bottom of the screen, you'll see that there's these switches. And when you click on the opposite side, they'll, they'll turn on. The ones that say print are actually going to appear in our output. So coming down here in the uh, kind of the second half of four, I want the USBC scores. You know, they're your standard 600 games, etc. I don't need other. I want to print the awards that are earned more than once. And I don't want to print other awards. We're going to define our awards in these categories later on. So once that's done, you can compare this screen right here to the, uh, the bottom of step four. And it should look exactly the way it is on the screen right now. And then I'm going to come up here and click on the Change Style button. And by default, this will actually go to 99, which is the awards detail list. You can click on it, and it's not going to change. The key thing here is going from 6 to 7. 7 just says go to the copy icon. That's in your 
almost all the way in the upper right. You'll notice when I roll over it, I do get a tool tag. You can see most of it on your screen, and it says copy. So go ahead and click that. Now, over here, right now we're looking at the fixed styles. Step 8 says click on your styles. So I click on my styles, and I'm going to come down here, and we've just picked 21. Because we don't use it. And if everybody does the same thing, uh, we'll be kind of standard. Now, at this point, I'm going to paste what I copied before into this style, which is the button right next. Remember, this was copy. Come back over here. Click on this one. You can see in the rollover it says paste. Click paste. Get a warning screen. Am I sure that I want to copy style 99 to style 21? Go ahead and take a yes here. And the first thing I'm going to do is come up here and change the title. Now, right, watch this over here as we key in the title up here. And this is our S E M N U S B C W E E K L Y weekly. I click on the panel to hide it. And it's telling me that this is going to affect every league. In other words, this report is common to all the leagues. So I'm going to click Yes. The name changed over here on the left-hand side. And you know that you're uh, on the right league. The next part has a lot of words, but it's actually kind of simple. The information displayed over here on the right is what your report will contain and the order in which it appears. Both of these are critical. We're doing this whole thing because the program on our server is expecting to see certain data come in in a certain order. So we need to add a few things to this side. And the way we do that is they've given us some choices over here on the left. I'm going to scroll down here. And somewhere in here is the week's date. So I highlight the date, add the item, and it appears over here on the right. So I've added the week's date. Then I'm going to go up and grab the bowler ID. And I can never find some of these. You might have to scroll around. Bowler ID number, highlight it, click Add. And their USB sanction number. I should also warn you here that in your league setup, make sure you got the sanction numbers for your bowlers. It's uh, pretty key to us. If you don't know them, you can find them on the front of our website or go to bowl.com and grab them. But make sure all your bowlers have up-to-date bowler IDs. So once again, click on the sanction number. Go ahead and add the item. So we've got all the ads we want over here. Now there are a few things we don't need. Moving down here, I don't need the bowler's age. So I'm going to highlight the age and just say remove. It comes back to the other side. And there's three of these add a space. So I'll remove the first one. Remove the second one. Remove the third one. So now I have all the fields that are required, but they're not in the right order. And the order is uh, very important here. Because the program's kind of dumb. It's expecting to see stuff roll in in a certain way. So we're just going to modify the way they show up. The first one you want is the award week number. So just highlight it and move it to the top of the page. Next one we want is the week's date. Remember, that's one of the ones we added. I'm just going to move it right up under the week number. The award bowler's name. Uh, that one's already in the right place. Next one we're looking for is the bowler ID number, followed by the sanction number.
and that should be all the changes you need to make. Once again, review them and make sure they match the award bowler's name. week date, or I should say the award week number, the week date, the name, bowler ID, USBC sanction number, book average, award number of games, award bowlers average, award games and series, award score, and award earned. That's actually going to create more fields than there because the award games and series, you know, that's four in itself. But that's definitely the one you want. And when you're done, just click Use This. And that reports there. Now you can go ahead and escape out of this by clicking on the check, and you're back to the front here. Now, in order to do the next part, we're going to have to close out of this.